Hello. That was That's the Way I Like It from the Metal Harbor stage of Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Also, I mean, by necessity, it would also be that. Um, oh boy, I'm very excited. I, I, I've, I've been itching to get back to this game. So, uh, let's do it. Let's play some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Um, last time we went on a seaside vacation. We went to the final stage of destruction, or not the, or the final stage that we have access to, I mean. And so let's look at what we did last time. We went through all of this and I went back and S ranked everything because I'm crazy. And all we have left is the third area. And we need to un complete Juro Karabe's Juro Karabe event, whatever that means. So that'll be exciting. But yeah, today it's probably just going to be Remembrance because we can't do Destruction unless we get to Juro's event. But I'm not really interested in Juro. I don't give a shit about him. We're going to start with Ryoko Shinonome. She's going to take her pills. <laughs> Poor, poor Ray. Mr. Ida. Shinonome -kun. Oh, she doesn't have bandages. Have regarding what we talked about today. And she's excited. Can you answer it for me? <laughs> oh, I have control. to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. <laughs> you said I was special. Oh no! The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between She's us. She's getting groomed. Queen. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Don't get groomed, lady. Mr. Ida, I want the investigation unit is watching us. As it stands, we are already an unofficial organization. It is not wise for us to stand out any more than we already do. Yeah, get it together, hon. Contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Wait, Mr. Ida. Well, I just. Okay. Mr. Ida, I've never. I've never felt this way before. Never felt about you. this way before. I have already explained to you what my position is. Uh, you are a child. of those chosen as pilots your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission which is why you gotta you take your fucking pills saying, don't you? please don't cause any trouble for me Ooh, don't tell your mom about us holy shit like literally you can if you are quite exceptional you can summon two sentry guns at the same time Very exciting. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. The cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. Ooh, my toes are cold. Excuse me while I cover my toes. <laughs> you fight good. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is a little bit a uh, little bit suspicious. This is a little bit, uh, awful. I didn't expect 
to start the stream off with grooming. Without you, we won't be able to overcome this danger. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Ooh. And that was... And this is 2064, so that was Juro, I think, in his robot. Now Juro and uh, Inaba, not Inaba, Unami, and the magical girl are hanging out. I think, I think that's the timeline. Yes. You literally have to get in the robot. I'm going to be eating Sour Patch Kids while I basically watch this television show. Thank you for coming to my watch party of 13 Sentinels. Hum. said not to contact you <laughs> what do you want with Ryoko senpai yeah fucker stop akun i'm the one who has to talk to him senpai that is true i have this big fucking less we're drawing attention to ourselves do i have I'm no i don't want to i don't want to reach my phone it's over on my bed But I have this giant fucking thing of Sour Patch Kids, and they're big Sour Patch Kids. They're like the... I'll give you more details then. Can you hear them? Can you hear me scrunching them? You, you can only hear it... You can only hear it when I talk because of my noise gate. Which is exciting. That is excellent news. I thought it'd be a lot louder, me fucking messing with these rappers. But there's a gi it's a giant thing of individually wrapped big Sour Patch Kids, and I'm really enjoying it. It's perfect to just, mm, just nyomp. And they're the big, yeah, the big ones are like twice as, twice the size of, uh, the normal ones. I don't know, they're closer like three times the size. They're huge. It's the best. No, no. That's Sekigahara Sentinel. Oh. From where? No. Sekigahara is the other one. Seventeen is the one that Miura is. Yeah, what is going on? Also, thanks for showing up, Isaac. It's nice to have you here. Look at those fucking missiles. Destroying one sentinel, probably. I love these these U the UIs. Use the force transmit code on all units. But we don't have time. 
trying to adjust the settings. Yeah, just throw them wherever. The link will be shut off that way. But we'll have no idea where they go. The pilots' lives are the priority. Yeah, just chuck them. Chuck them into space. So the question now is, is does this guy actually die here? Oh, hey. All these kids because of him. Mr. Ida. He stayed on the battlefield to the very end. All so we could escape. <laughs> this is them trapped in the future. I remember this. Give me that gun. This must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. Yeah, 426. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Yeah, let's take that gun. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. But why? Why does Jiro Izumi do this? A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. No, not if it comes down to it. Don't, don't, if it comes down to it, just blast immediately. Run in and start shooting and shooting some more and then shooting him again. Escalate immediately to gun violence. It's the only way. Oh, hey, A. I've got you cornered now, 426. <gasps> it's time to pay for what you've done. Just blast him. No, shoot now. There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Aisaki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. So in the future, this is fake Aseki Gahara. Whatever it is you're trying to do now. And he's the reason the 2064 but I can't thing failed. You okay. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? What a chump. Yeah, blast him. Just shoot him to death. I should kill you, right here. you should. You should kill 426 right here. Then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it. They never do it. Huh? Oh, it doesn't work. Well, fuck. Well, that's bad. Yeah, kill him. Beat him to death. Really? With those injuries? Besides. What are you doing? Pills. Empty. Like I thought. 
They'll wear off soon. No! What happened? Why does pills? She was eating those pills a lot earlier. But I couldn't save you. So wait, maybe that was real Aseki Gahara? And he really did infect the Sentinels? himself on purpose because he didn't like what's his face Ida unlockable oh yeah this is unlockable I don't know why let's go I don't know why it's telling me that I knew that I, sh I have so many people I need to put. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go and we're gonna go. And I'm not gonna worry about it. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. Oh, yeah, the, he's looping his crazy train thing. I don't know why Ninji has such a cute face. It's happening all over again. I don't know what it is, but he has a really cute face. Like it's like it's a sweet face. And I don't know I don't know why. But it's just it's funny. It just looks silly. So yeah, last time we uh the train derailed and I have to find the key cuz the weird voice I died and the weird voice was like, you fucking didn't do it right. And the weird voice I think was Morimura. And she's like, you didn't fucking find the key, idiot. Go do it again. Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? Where the hell was I? It was like, I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. It looked just like that. I was butt naked too. <laughs> oh no, I was naked. Whoa! Like I was saying, all this stuff about how I've got to find a key. No idea what the hell he's talking about. Oh, maybe it was a guy voice and I don't remember correctly. I, I thought it was... I thought it was Morimura. The only clue I got is this key thing. So Kisaragi always gets on that train. And the train always crashes. Once she's on... She's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? We gotta do something! The kaiju are coming! What? Really? Where? I mean, like, not yet. They get here after we get on this train. How do you know that? Because I saw it. Uh... Shit, how do I explain? I like that I like that we're we're just moving right along to wait, oh when? Where? <laughs> like she's ready to believe him. Hey Kisaragi, you don't have some kind of key handy, right? What does that even mean? I have the key to my house. Is this it? Nah. Probably not. Nah, that's fucking stupid. Anyway, I've got some house keys. You're acting kind of weird. Yeah, it's really getting to me. Gotta open this sour patch child. I'm already sick of all this shit. Sour baby. What can I do? And now. What's this key thing they keep talking about? Where How the hell do I even find it? What do I do? Go through everyone's goddamn pockets? <laughs> None of this shit makes sense. Well, look what we got here. Hi, shitheads. Yeah, most punchable face in the city. Great. This guy. What? You think you're better than me? Yes, I beat you up all the time. You're fucking Team Rocket, dude. 
What key? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know, man. Just whatever keys you got. Just give me all of your keys. My motorcycle key. But my teacher took it away. <laughs> yeah, boo freaking who? Boo freaking who? I think it's about time we settled our shit. You got I'm eating. Up. I love to eat the child. Do you think this is funny? I Why feel happiness when I eat a him. Yeah. Come on, you're fighting again. Stop that. I'm literally turning around. Idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. Uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> oh. That's messed up, man. Well, I guess we can fight. I'm still mad, motherfucker. <laughs> yep, made me also made me just as mad the second time. Like, nah, yep. You'd think I'd be okay with it. Oh, man, not again. <laughs> Cause I heard it before. But I guess I'm not. <laughs> hey, fucker! Don't get on the train. No, you're not. Hey, Shut the. F why are you not listening to me? Because I see in the future. Look, they're coming. This train's gonna get derailed. It's gonna be a huge accident. Okay. Okay. Whatever. My train's about to leave. No. Be serious here. You can talk shit on me if you want, but believe me, just this once. Come on. Don't get on that train. So, what do I do instead? Let's just get out of the station. Let's leave. Literally do anything else. If we can just get outside this place, that's got to change something. Dummy. Well, we made it out. No, oh, hey, look, it's the little guys. What's wrong? Sorry, my ankle hurts. Where? Let me see. Probably a sprain. Get down. Oh, these guys look cool up close. Little crab walkers. It's gone. <laughs> it's right over there. I can still see it. Man, look at him. Ooh, new sprite. New pose <laughs> of him looking backwards. Yeah. Maybe there's no way out of this, but I love Nenji. He's a great character. He's one of my favorites. Anyway, come on. We gotta keep going. Neil. Well, we saved her. Huh. I couldn't make it out in time. Okay. Did you find the key? Yeah, it was Mori about your key. Who the hell are you? Oh no, it's you can do all this crazy time crap. It's um what's his face? Then save Kisaragi. Tell me Kisaragi. If you want to save her, you need to cooperate with me. I need you to find that key. It's it's uh Is that Ben Diskin? Yes, I promise. Or is it? No, it's um. 
It's what's his face? The the cross dresser, I think. Fine. I couldn't tell if it was him or uh or what's his name? Uh Sheba. Cause we haven't seen fucking hiding her hair as Sheba in a while. I guess because I haven't been using Shu or Juro. Let's play with we're gonna do Ninji. We're gonna do Ninji and we're gonna do Shinanome. A lot. And we're gonna do it good. I guess when you put it like that. Okay, so something and something. Okay, so we don't I don't need to use any particular keywords. I should slow down and think a little. Yeah. I sure am listening. Uh, uh. It's happening all over. The attack. Let's consider the attack. Consider the coconut. We only got a couple minutes. Consider the leaves. Even if I told someone about this, eh. nobody would believe me. But she would. She'd immediately believe you. Come on, man. Let's go this way. Isn't hey! I feel like I know that guy she's with. Yeah! Who is he? Why are you being all sneaky? <laughs> I don't know. No reason. Because I don't know her well enough. How embarrassing. Oh, hey. Isn't that Karabe? Hey, I'm still talking to you here. Okay, so we've got options now. We can talk to Karabe or we can bother Iori. Stop dodging the question. I want a real answer. For real, it's not like that. Then what is it like? It's like future shit. What do you fucking care? What do you get off my back? It's not a big deal. I was just curious. Yeah, I bet you were. I bet you were fucking curious. Fancy meeting you here. Osami-chan. Iori, your place isn't this. I'm hiding. Where are you going with Okinokun? I just got a thing over in Tsutsuji. There's the train. No! No one get on the train! No one get on the train! Seriously. You're being really weird. Hey, don't don't get on the don't get on! Don't nobody gets on this train! I said no! I wanna hit ya! Hey, Jer Rocky's hanging around. Kinda hard to talk to Fuyusaka like this. They got on the train. Fuck! What do I do? Go after them? Yeah, let's go after him. Hey, that's the wrong train. Okay, whatever. She can explode this time and we'll go back and we'll figure it out. Oh, hi, Chihiro. I know they got on. Hi, Chihiro Moramura. It's baby child. Are you looking for someone? I'm looking for you. Hi. How's it going? School kids, uh, about my age. Whoa, fuck. What the hell? Was that like Was that like magic? <laughs> the hell am I thinking? Hey, what the fuck? Okay, look. I know this seems real sketchy. I mean, heck. I'm the guy who chased you onto a train here. But there's something I gotta know. Do you have some kind of key on you? I mean, not like a regular house key. It's supposed to be kind of special. Except I don't really know how. <sighs> yeah, this 
still sounds pretty damn weird. This is huh? fucking stupid. I like that he's just Hey! 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 What what what? Get back here. Hey, hold on. Why? Why are you looking for something like that? Good question. It's a good question. Man, I don't know how I'd even explain it. You're oh yeah, he did Oh fuck! Yeah. Originally carried it, young man. The school nurse. Yeah, I said that earlier. I, I said how. uh... Wait a sec. Are you for yourself? Yes, she or... is. I said that before. Wait. I know you. The League of Darkness. The League of Darkness. What? You're one of the bad guys. The League of Super Evil. The League of Darkness? What? You playing this late? Should you be out here alone, young man? I'm not playing. I'm training. Yeah, I've got to train so I can be big and strong. right? How about I walk you back to your house? I don't want to go anywhere with you, lady. Yeah, you're fishy. When they kidnap kids. Yeah. League of Darkness? Don't you don't kidnap me. Hero, yeah, the bad guy. Of course. Kids and their TV. The bad guys from I Common know. Hero. I think you're the real bad Hero guy. kick. Eight years from now, you're going to call a bunch of monsters and destroy the world. No. No. I never turn to the side of evil. You're still going to do it whether you're good or evil. Yeah, because of my my, my nano brains. Things just happen. You can't trick me. Cuz our little punk. Nah. You missed me. I'm too good. <sighs> that was close. I guess I just did a big lap around the block. <laughs> What do I do? She even had a gun. She tried to shoot me. She really is from the League of Darkness. I gotta tell the police. Don't move. No. You're a bad boy. No. Am I gonna die? It'll only hurt for a moment. <laughs> I've just implanted you with nano machines. Uh huh. I'll add onto the program inside you. It's not a huge change, but it's something we'll need to fight back. And now we can prepare our weapons. The Sentinels. League of Darkness. Okay, at least the League of Darkness is not a real thing. I didn't find shit. Yeah, I said before that Fuyasaka was Morimura. I was on the train, and the nurse from my school shot me. There were even other passengers around too. But they didn't give a shit. That's where you keep fucking sending me. You don't even know where you keep sending me back to? What are you, stupid? Okay, I see. That means the person with the key is somewhere around there. Okay. Okay, so it means that someone's around there. Why do I get the explanation? <laughs> Why do I know? Why did you tell me anything?
Okay, so good. I already did fucking destruction. Good. Give more of this guy. This fucking guy. Who I love very much. I think he's doing a great job. <laughs> Why did I think Fuyusaka looked like that League of Darkness lady? Yeah, League of Darkness. <laughs> I'm so I cannot tell you how glad I am that the League of Darkness is not a real thing that is a real part of the lore and is instead a thing from Common Rider that he watched as a child. I was gonna freak the fuck out. Yeah, we summon the monsters with our nano machine brain signals. I think we already established that. Hey, where are you going? Yo. Ogata kun. What are you doing? Osami chan. You trying to pick on Iori now? Yeah, I am. Please, Kisaragi. Just relax for a sec. What? <laughs> I'm begging you here. I'm trying to do this Groundhog Day thing. And you're being stupid. League of Darkness. Ask her about the League of Darkness. So, that League of Darkness version of you. I mean... Okay, what's your connection to that black cat suit lady? League of Darkness? Yeah. What are you talking about? Act, act like an insane person. Yeah, like a total loon. <laughs> I mean, the key. What a hero. Like I used to carry this key, right? Ogata-kun, I'm really not sure I follow. God damn it. I gotta figure out how to say this right. Okay, so you haven't said it yet, but you're going to tell me soon. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> he does not I just wanna know what it all means. I really don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, you liar. Man, you lie. So hard to explain. The train's leaving soon. Let's go, Okino kun. Hey, uh, you don't look so good. Seriously, you're being really weird. No, wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Maybe I can talk to Juro? No, Juro's gone. Fuck me! You trying to run? Yes! God damn it. Now I'm stuck here. Keep happening. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't, this wouldn't keep, I wouldn't have to continue to do this. The train's already here. Damn it. Can't just leave her alone. <sighs> okay, maybe this creates new somethings. Also, I get that it's nice that it's stopping. At new dialogue. Always turns out the same. The train gets derailed. Kizaragi doesn't make it. Did you find the key? Answer me, Ninji Ogata. Man, I don't goddamn know. Who the hell are you? Give me a hint or something. Yeah, when I'm when I'm holding down the right bumper to skip through everything, um, it just stops when I see new dialogue. So that's helpful. Hey, where are you going? Hey, bitch. Yo. 
Osaka. That wasn't some magic trick, right? Um, what do you mean? Anyway, I mean, it was some trick. Uh, is this some kind of test? A test? <laughs> you should actually explain what you're talking about, man. So, so League of Darkness. And I'm gonna follow them again. I'm gonna follow them. I'm gonna follow them. No! Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Shit. Oh. Hello. Senpai. You're here too? Fucking everyone's hanging out. Senpai, you don't have some kind of key on you, right? Though I guess it's not really a normal key. Probably. Man, how do I say this? Oh yeah, Ninji doesn't know. Any, Ninji doesn't know anyone else is in on the future thing at this point. I'm pretty sure. I, I, like, I know he knows Kisaragi's from the future. I think at this point. Someone like who? Like a station worker? Uh, waste of time. Why is that? It's just gonna throw us back to the beginning. <laughs> What's going on with you? No, hey, wait, get, 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 no, get back here. Hey, that's the wrong train. Oh, no. Hey, what happened? I just decided to go this way this time out of, you know, just wanting to, to go a different way. Okay? Must have been her symptoms again. Looks like she passed out. Not the symptoms. This guy too. I know him. Fox. Die. Why is he with her? Why are they both knocked out? This is victims of poison, assumedly. <gasps> That's some kind of medicine. Four to six. Label's not telling me much. That's poison. Hey, who are who are you, Ida? It was meant to poison the D forces. They ended up as collateral damage. What are you talking about, old man? It sounds like you know about Shinonome Kun's condition. So you should already understand. The symptoms she endures come from that poison. Their nano machines are infected. They're beyond sick. Yeah, so they're drinking the pills. Their sacrifices. They cannot stop the D forces attack. To to stop their brains nano machines from signaling the D forces to come get them cuz that's why they keep following us. You keep talking about these D guys. That's all the big mecha kaiju, right? A living apocalypse. Born in our future, crossing time to destroy us. Time. It all comes down to my my head explode. The commanders of the D forces. Fifteen. Ninji Ogatakun. It is a curse, one we cannot escape. Uh huh. The D command. Yeah. So we we. Where's all this weird shit coming from? We use our brains. Basically, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm just a man in the past now. But it was never the kaiju. The problem, the true blot on this world, was always the D Force's creator. Which is it's us. Us. Mankind. Yeah. Oh no, I knew he was gonna say it. Um, sorry. I think I accidentally gave your universe cancer. I got through. Can you hear me? If you can hear my voice, then report. I found what 
We're the real monsters. Poison. Okay. What's going on in that train? Something's not right there. When I'm inside the train, things always seem messed up. Yeah, it seems like bullshit. Oh hell yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Okino, that's his name. Oh, you look a little baby. Baby, baby. Okay. I have like a million mystery points from being so, so, so good at the video game. So I'm just gonna buy everything. Okay, this is Tamayo Karabe, who's an old lady in 1985. Uh, Fluffy. And the talking cat makes a deal. He's gonna save Juro. From his brain. Tetsuya Ida. This is a good thing to have. Substitute teacher at Ryoko, Shin Ryoko Shinonome's class. Uh, he's gonna make her battle. Director of the Special Investigations Unit. Serves an advisor to the anti kaiju defense team and helps Morimura gather members for their team. Back when he was a student, he supported Tomi Kisaragi under the screen name F8. He used to wear glasses and came off as studious, serious young man. He's in love with Suga. Yeah, so this is. So this is the same person then as Shu Amaguchi. Like, those aren't. They aren't two different Tetsuya Idas then. They're the same Tetsuya Ida. Which I wasn't sure about. But he's the same one who is the android man. That's confusing. <laughs> There's 426. 426 is uh, Juro Izumi. He's already dead. He's a replica. Um, he's in, in, he, in the present, he's in Tomiki Saragi. And killed Tamao Karabe and took over Tamao Karabe's android. And that's the one that's hanging out with, uh, with Punch Girl. Hmm. Gates. The gates are the things. You gotta be able to get through them with your nano machines. The androids, the terminators, they're the monsters. Magical gun. It's the gun that shoots the nano machines into you. That makes your brain, uh, be okay to fight in the Sentinels. And I'll, it's just, it shoots you with nano machines. We got that. Second generation Sentinels. Yeah, they're there. Sakura High School. It's the place where everyone fucking goes. The front gate. It's the front gate to the school. New school building is the school building everyone goes to school to in 1985. Cafeteria is where you buy the food. Nurse's office is where that lady is. She's like eight of the characters that we know. Uh, new school building rooftop is the rooftop of the new fucking school. Uh, 
passageway is the passageway to the old school. There used to be a potato field, but it's not there anymore. Old school building is where all this shit happens. Wait. National schools were started in 1941, and many of the current schools were converted into them. Influenced by nationalism and fascism, national schools taught children the basic training necessary for citizens of the country. They aimed to train their body and mind and ask them to give their lives for the nation and for the emperor. Many schools train children in military tactics, as well as group training and rituals. By 1947, these schools were reformed under a new system, turning the focus back to education. Oh! So that's why, that's why, that's why school, that's why school military. I guess I never put that together, but this explains like, 90% of Japanese fiction in a way that I didn't really comprehend before but now I know <laughs> now I know why school uh, military now I know why uh, student council is the strongest the strongest they have more authority than the government because of military makes sense see that's this I love that stuff of national, uh, learning about what a fucking national school is, because I didn't know that. Anyway, that's the athletics building. Kaiju invasion, uh, they fucked it up. All these people couldn't do it, and Ida died. Kaiju invasion, 2025. Okay, this was the one I was thinking of with Juro and what's her face. This Juro fights him and does a good job, but then his brain explodes from the nano machines. And this is the nightmare where Juro kills everybody. The three laws of robotics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Written by a famous author. <laughs> well known for a science fiction piece from the 20th century, 2001 A Space Odyssey. When a distinguished but elderly scientist states that something is possible, he is almost certainly right. When he states that something is impossible, he is very probably wrong. The only way of discovering the limits of the possible is to venture a little way past them into the impossible. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. <laughs> Ninji Ogata's most treasured item when he was in elementary school, a grade-based educational magazine that was released in 1976. The free gifts attached to this were multipl Multiplication Train and the Flexi-Disc version of Terror of Mechadimos. This fucking rules. Look at that common Rider. This, this rocks. Fucking Ninji Ogata got the Tiger poster as a child. And he's been trying to to reattain that high ever since. I love the um the Godzilla face on that D molar, by the way. League of Darkness. Yeah! League of Darkness! Look at that motherfucker! Evil organization that can appeared in Common Hero Stranger, a TV show that Ninji Ogata was obsessed with in the second grade. They focus on destroying human society and nature, with chief evil at the helm. They consist of the machine people, humans that were turned into cyborgs, and other nefarious forces of darkness. This fucking rocks. I love this image. This image is incredible, and I'm so happy. <laughs> oh good, look! I have exactly four for the rest of the things I don't have. Here's the Karabe house. That's what it looks like. Um, large old house was rebuilt to add a second story. Jiro uses the back room of the second floor. Yakushichi uses the middle room. They definitely don't use the same room. Not that'd be no, that'd be no, absolutely not. Uh, Miura used the guest room closet. Nice. Oh, closest the guest room, not the guest room closet. I was like, Miura. Why were you sleeping in the closet? It's a guest room. You're insane. 
But the Karabe residence layout was created by Keitaro Miura in 2188, based off the things Tamao Karabe heard from her grandfather, as well as the old films that remained. Ah, photo of Yuki Takamiya, Nats no Minami when they were elementary school. It was Takamiya has sore hair. Minami was Doctor Space. Oh, look at him! Let's look at him! This is amazing. Anyway, go to this is a notebook. Notebook the Rainy Goto always walks around with. It includes schedules, dairy entries, uh, investigative findings, issues, unanswered questions, and more. All written with the characteristic consciousness and clarity. This is the this is one of the birthday gifts that Goto was given each year by his father. But he only has a few more days before all the pages are filled. This has got Japanese history. It's a Japanese history book and it's got Japanese history in it. Yay! I used all my mystery points. It's perfect. Look at that, 40%. That's pretty good. Now back to Ninji. What do you got for me, bruh? Bruh. Also, I love the incredible swerve of like, yeah, talk to, uh, Yuki and, uh, Yuki and Dr. Space. I fucking forgot her name. Uh, Natsuno. Yuki and Natsuno. Yeah, they're, you know, they're really, uh, what's going on there? Uh, they're related. <laughs> Ta Yuki Takamiya cares about her that much because uh, she's her mom. <laughs> Understandable. Thank you. That was an incredible swerve by the writers. All right, I, get it. I, I very approve. Just don't move from here. Yeah, just fucking that stay right it. here. <laughs> don't move. I see you, bitch. The D command. It's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the kaiju? <laughs> so who are the... I believe this crazy shit? Who are the other two then? So, if it's 15, it's gotta... One of them's gotta be Okino. Because Okino's got nano machines. And then one of them's gotta be... Shiba, right? Because he knows suspicious things. So if if there were if there are other if if there are two extra members beyond our main cast, one of them's Okino, and I'm saying the other is Shiba. Because uh, yeah. you something if you knew the world was gonna end in a couple minutes how would you spend them uh, where's all this coming from i just want to know how you feel Aww. a few minutes huh that's not a lot of time well uh, i can't really get anywhere in a few minutes so i guess I spend them with you. Hmm. I'll just be a second. I just need you to wait here for me. Is that okay? Yeah, hero. He's a weird outcast. And he's kind of stupid and kind of mean and kind of bad. But he did do he do his best. I love Nenji. I think he's maybe up there with Natsuno for my favorite character. What's wrong? Out of my way. You're the one I got beef with. Okino, 
You're the one. I saw you, you asshole. Oh, what are you talking about? <clears throat> don't, don't play pretend with me. Why do you put me in that capsule? Why do you keep putting me back here? I really have no idea what you're saying. Look, bro. Bullshit, you don't. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna return to the beginning. Yeah. I, uh... We got two ways to do You think you can run? Yeah, beat him up. Kill him. This motherfucker. Yeah, here he is. You're the, You're the jacket thief. Now I remember. Kijiyama. You came out of nowhere with that sucker punch. Yeah, asshole. Don't act like I pulled some low down trick. I don't believe you. You're a dirtbag. Cuck. You're cocked. You're fucking whipped, Hijiyama. What's going on here? You don't have to know. You're going right back in. Okino, you said you'd help us, right? Then you gotta do something before the attack hits. Can't you save any of the others? An attack? Wait, you mean... Those things are the true foes of the Sentinels? Exactly. What I need to find is the reason for the attack. So now we're here. Trying to find the key that controls the D-forces. Okay, well you didn't have to tie me up! And these D-forces... That means the Kaiju, right? This key's gonna let you control them? One person's commanding these kaiju to come here, right? One out of these 15 people? So you knew. Yes. 15 children's lives were manipulated. So that they would destroy mm -hmm. the world. They broadcast command signals from their body. Even if they don't want to, or don't even know. Uh-huh. Those signals create the kaiju, and then beckon them here. Like the old guy was saying. So, are there lots of keys? No, just one. Okay. Out of all 15, only one has the key that controls them. And it's Natsuno. <laughs> I think. Because she's in command now. That's what 426 said. A key to command them. Wait, didn't she say something about that? The first person who had this key was supposedly me that league of darkness lady said something about this she said i was the one who had the key first but i don't know anything about that i don't remember anything anyway of course you don't the control of course you don't for a program you're one of those 15 people up until two months ago the commands were coming from you seriously it was me? It used to be. Now, though? Well, from what I hear, that had already changed by the time we caught you. Yeah, it's not to know. Another person's got the key. And they're the ones sending out the signal to start an apocalypse. So all the kaiju attacks... That's my fault? <clears throat> Remember, they haven't gotten here yet. Yeah. Whatever you saw in there is going to come true soon enough. It's also it's also not your fault. It's the person who put it in your fucking brain. 
It's like smallpox blankets. It's not their fault. It's the smallpox. Okay, so this key is actually a program. How do you even look for something like that? Well, to you, it'll look like a standard metal key. At least within that station. What do you mean? I need to see who got the control key after you. The idea was to just pull the data out of you. But whatever happened is really bound up in your personal memories. No shit. Which means you're the only one who can dig that information out. That's why you're in the chair and I'm on the tech side. Okay, so why am I tied up though? For me. Hold on a sec. You're telling me that whole station is You've been in this chair this whole time. That station is an illusion created from your memories. You gotta be kidding. All in my head. Was it all in my head? That's how you broke out of the simulation. Even I'm there at the station. Yeah, cause you're, cause you have nano machines in your brain. I guess that'd get you clear of control. Well, I can fix that right now. Well, I guess that's good. But see, now we can talk. Now you, now you can untie me, and we can just do this, right? <laughs> Just look right at the camera. Hold on. Don't squirm. Trust me. You don't want that tech coming off by force. I mean, might never wake up. yeah, I don't. I know I don't want that. I don't want the thing that's hooked into my brain fucking ripped off. That's a bad idea. You. But you need to take this seriously. If you want to be free, help us. That's your only option. Well, I want to help you anyway. You don't have to act this way. Now I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> yeah, Natsuno Minami's exterminator event. I like that that is apparently the most fucking important, uh, event in the entire story is Natsuno Minami's exterminator event because every time I have somebody, it's always... Oh, Natsuno Minami's Exterminator event. Natsuno Minami's Exterminator. Complete Natsuno Minami's Exterminator event. Well, guess what? I completed it like the first thing I ever did. Because I'm so fucking brilliant. Because I know what characters are good. I guess when you put it. What's wrong? <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. So, all of this. I saw some big dream in my head. This Kizaragi. And that Fuyusaka. And Wajima. Not and Datasora too. So the world's gonna end. And it's if he's right. I'm one of those people too. League of Super Evil. That was a show, like, around the, the two years that I had cable, there was a show on, I think, Nickelodeon called League of Super Evil. And it was funny because it was, it was like, a, it was lose. And that was the joke, is that it was a incompetent group of supervillains, and it was L-O-S-E, League of Super Evil. And I always thought that was funny, but the show looked stupid. No. My head is not okay. No, I'm not going that way. I'm going. What's wrong? I didn't. I didn't cross a line, did I? I guess that means she came from my head too. I like how he has to go up to these people to think this. Just got her mixed up with the school nurse. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely just that. Hey, Fuyusaka, where'd Okino go? Okino? Who's that? <sighs> Fancy. 
fancy meeting you here. I get it. Usami-chan. Said he was gonna fix it. Guess that's what he meant, yeah. Where are you going? I've just got a thing over in... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karabe. This is what I've been thinking about. Looks like you got him. Where the hell does... If Okino's not here... Yeah. Hey, it's you. If I remember right, you don't take the train to school, do you? Guess I don't. But who cares? I can still take the train if I want. It's not a crime. This is very. That's very dismissive. Ifsive of Juro Karabe. Nah. Something ain't right here. Yeah, something's not right. Is this how you get your kicks? Picking some random kids a bully? Yeah. Yes, it is. I'm gonna beat you up. Cause you're 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 a weirdo. So <clears throat> you got a key on you? What kind of key? The key to summon the kaiju. Summoning kaiju, huh? What? That weird? I don't really have time to indulge those childish fantasies. Who the fuck is this? Now that's weird. Now that's weird. Looks like my train's here, which means this conversation is over. Not likely. Hey, that's the wrong train. Nah, I got it first, bitch. I'm standing in the door. Just, uh, just run up against me. Come on, bro. Let's do this. So you followed me. Why'd you run? Huh? You're on the wrong train, Nenji Ogata. Doesn't matter which one I take. Same damn thing happens anyway. I always get taken out by the kaiju. Yeah, that about sums it up. You're not Karabe. No, you're not. Well, that's just embarrassing. I really need to hide my tracks better. I've been getting slow. Yeah, you're Izumi. I'm looking to take it back. Who the hell are you? It's Data Karabe. He it disappeared. It's 426 in my brain. Oh, hey, get back here. Yeah, it's Natsuno. We I just I just said this. Behind you. <clears throat> look what she's got. I don't know how I know, but that's the key. Got to be. Got to be. Yeah, I do. There's no point in digging this up. You don't even know what this key is. It's the key to the kaiju, right? I finally found it. It's her. Minami's the one with the key. Cause she got shot with nano machines. I know the key's a program that controls the kaiju. And now I know Natsuno Minami's got it. If you know that, then why are you on their side? Because I want to live. What are you do with it? They can't save anyone. Don't trust them. You know what they'll do to her. Do you have any idea what Natsuno Minami will go through? No, tell me. What, like I'm supposed to trust you instead? Yeah, you're the guy who shot all those people. I don't know. That's stupid. Point. These sickos already kidnapped me and messed with my brain. Minami might end up the same way. Also, I like how Ninji is definitely the tallest character. Like Ryoko, she don't know me. But they might just kill Cause he's like he's when he stands up, he's even taller than Juro Izumi, like adult Juro. 
He's fucking huge. I didn't find anything. Did you find it? No. No. I analyzed the station you're seeing. Basically, it's a visual representation of a kind of database. Yeah. It kind of got tangled with your memories, so not everyone there will be relevant. Ninji. They put bugs in him. Yes. I'm going to cut off the D-Force's appearance. Once I control the commander, I control the kaiju. If that's impossible, I'll just destroy the control key. Don't worry. You'll be free to go. All right. I didn't say this before, but this is an inherently risky process. The more loops we do, the more stress your brain gets put under. Find it soon. I can't promise you'll survive. Am I clear? You need to investigate the people on that platform closely. Let's run it again. What the hell am I supposed to do? Hmm. That's a good question. Let's figure it out. Let's just keep, let's just burn through all of his story in one sitting. I guess when you put it like that, what's wrong? The hell do I do now? I finally found this damn key. What's gonna happen to Minami if I snitch on her? Minami's got the key, but if I let Okino know, I'd be throwing her under the bus. Yeah, that'd be bad. That Izumi guy. He said he'd handle it. Can I even trust him? Gotta be kidding me. So all of this, it's all some big... So the world's gonna... So that guy Izumi... He's a Juro Karabe from another world? If that's really true... That League of Darkness lady's gotta be a Fuyusaka from another world. When I was a kid, she did something to my key. So why do I know that? She said something about the Sentinels. Probably talking about that robot I saw in the future ruins. Why why is it why are they in my brain? So the one who has the key. They're the one calling these monsters out. Even if they don't want to. Never thought Minami would have it. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, could you not ignore me? Sorry, I I can't. Guess Okino's not here. Okay, the first train's gonna be Fuyusaka and Karabe. Hey. Hey. Huh? Oh, Ogata-kun. Uh, that's weird. Seems like plain old Karabe again. Actually, this is pretty good timing. Someone was just looking for you. They asked me to give you this. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Here you go. Who's this from? Izumi, I think he said. <sighs> Tsutsuji bound semi express. Departing at 512. First car. Who is this guy? What's well, his angle? I Let's go. see. The 512. That's the third train. The one Kisaragi gets on. And the first car. That one stops over at the end of the platform. Okay. So I just gotta wait here. Huh. Well, this is quite a development. It's all these things. 
Hey, she and Nome. You get on that train. Uh huh. He's starting to get it. Hey, Shinonome Senpai. <laughs> Are you okay? She's got brain injury. It's weird because they seem to have some kind of stuff going on, but. Oh, good. Those dipshits are gone. Nice. Like, the characters seem to have things happening to them. They don't have anything to do with them being in my brain. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. I'm very confused. But everything's been panning out so far, so I'm not worried about it. All right, final car. Hey, where are you going? The train's already here, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, get out of here. Don't get in that car. Get in the car with me. Get in the last one. Okay, whatever. You're from one C. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Maguka. Maduka Maguka. I'm back here. Oh, something popped up. Now you're messing with me, too? You're from Minami's class. You another of Okino's goons? Okino? I don't know who that is. Then why are you here? I was told to come here so I could save Nenji Ogata. You're here to save me? Yeah! Nenji Ogata's right here. That's like a version of me inside my own head. So, I just need to pull this thing off your head? Hey, hey, don't do that! They said if it gets forced off, I might never wake up again. Jeez. They'll just shoot me. Call the police, I guess? My contact wants to keep this discreet. Okay, then call your contact. Get them to do something. Well, he's a cat. <laughs> he's a cat, so his options are limited. <laughs> You're a lot funnier when other people interact with you. Not the weirdest thing I've heard today. Look, do you see any kind of, I don't know, a power button? None here. Well, what do you see? A button that says reinitialize. Don't hit, don't press that one. Don't touch that. Yeah. That's that just sends me back. Maybe that's it. You think you can turn that restriction off? I can try. How's it looking? Hold on. Still checking. Hey, you talked about saving the world. You mean from the kaiju, right? Right. So all that stuff I saw on the train, it really could happen. If you could fight back, would you? Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> I'll cast a spell on you. What the? Some kind of robot? Yeah! Number Tim. That's me, baby. Let's fucking go. Yep, yep. Let's break on through to the other side. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got I just I want to make sure you're going to be safe, Kisaragi. Jeez, why do you sound so serious all of a sudden? If you're going back, then I'm 
coming with you. I got something I gotta do. Just wait right here a sec. Yeah. Sure. Man's gotta do certain things. That big robot. Well, the sentinel. If I could just pilot that thing. If this crazy loop does eventually become reality. Maybe I could at least beat down a couple kaiju. <laughs> hey. Out of my way. Get out of my way! Tsukasa, Okino. Can't run this time. Uh. Last time, I got out of this place by chasing. Get out of my way! Yeah! Woo! Oh, shit. Everything's spinning. We did it! I'm gonna kick Where you in the I? face, Hijiyama. You're fucking I'm stupid. Sure. Hijiyama? Hey, what's wrong? Can't move, huh? Over here. Hurry! She's more badass than I am. <laughs> yeah, it really looks that way when you just when you're outside looking in. The final battle. Oh look, it's that it's their face. You can really see it clearly from, from this drawing. Oh shit. What about the others? They're not doing great. Even Yura Kun. Yura. Number 19, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna call my sentinel again. Mira Kun! Reporting in. Number 19 is taking heavy damage. Sorry, I'm shifting out. They never need to rest. Never lets up. Everything's falling apart. I let down our defensive line. Please. We did plenty, man. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, we are. Let us handle the rest. I've already hit my operating limit. I'll try to get back in the fray as soon as I'm combat ready. Natsuno-san, I'll fight your share as well. So you don't have to push yourself so hard. You really don't need to worry about me so much. I always worry about you. Yeah, of course I do. I'll go. No. Your sentinel's already taken a beating. I'll handle this. Yeah. That's why I gotta break them. Yeah. Let's go. They're here again. Not for long, they're not. Yeah, cuz I am. You watch me tell me Kizaragi. This time, I swear I'll protect you. What a hero. Yeah, demolisher blade. You can see it. You can see the good the good demolisher blade. Well, we did it. We cleared 
Ninji Ogata. Let's, uh... Let's make sure to start with all of the characters that... At 80% are over. Okay. Let's just... Let's just do all the characters I love. Actually, you know what? Let's do Shinonome, because I don't know anything about what she's about. She's stayed pretty much a complete mystery this whole time. Easy. Take your time. And I don't wanna I don't wanna burn through Natsuno and then be like, oh, I don't care about things anymore. Shinonome san? Do you know what year it is? Nineteen. 85. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. Ooh, you can really hear it. The internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You can really hear the, uh... much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? <laughs> Make sure you're taking them. Yeah, I love taking my pills. Yeah! Eat them! Eat all those pills! Fucking eat more pills! Time travel right now. But I need to fix the sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. Why not? It's easy, all right. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world. But they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. But Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary <laughs> don't worry. Your memories will return quickly. Are you all right? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not. Are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. The coordinates for shifting through time. They're set in 40 year intervals. So he can't travel freely. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. Okino. Okay, no. It has to be. 426. The one that set up the what? In the first place. Hmm. Stuck here. Set up the hmm. The source of the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. I'll fix it as soon as I can. It's only a matter of time before 426 makes contact with someone. I need the list of those who are compatible. Of course. That includes the people of this era, too. I'll see what I can do. There's no other option. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything we imagined. Yeah, get it together. Would you rather? I go ask the students, one by one. Fine. Yeah, bitch. On my desk. Yeah, yeah, I play I'm playing hardball. It does list those who are compatible at the school. Humans with the capacity to pilot the sentinels. They've already been identified in the future. <laughs> oh, I can't. Yeah, give me the Pick me up the things. So this is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Four girls, including myself. Wait, only girls? Please 
Asaka and Kisaragi, Class 1B, Yakushiji in 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. Yusaka and Yaku oh, whoops. If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. We're counting on you. These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Goto kun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> I don't have the list. Therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder, why do you hate 426 so much? Ah, because he's a crazy murderer. The fate of the world is at stake. And he, Even so, he makes the kaijus come. Hatred stems from something else. Yeah, because he sh cause shot people to death. Because he's fucking freakazoid. The reason for your animosity towards 426. I would like to hear about it. Yeah, whatever. Because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. Thing deserves no sympathy. Yeah, it's evil. Is not human. It's a scary android. Created in the future. And now he calls himself a Sekigahara. Maybe. Maybe. I see. A picture of 426. He calls himself a Sekigahara now. But he's gone into hiding. The one that ruined the Sentinels. The disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. Or maybe he already has. According to the clock on the wall, mm -hmm. it is time for lunch. They should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. God, I fucking hate school cafeterias. Yeah. Can I? Oh. That's Shu Amiguchi. He's one of them. And does he know already? Did something happen? Oh, how? Oh! How embarrassing! He spoke to her! What's up? Yeah, you blush when I come around. You need my help with anything? <sighs> About last time, I wasn't able to do anything then. <laughs> up for it. You did try, and I'm grateful to you for that. Where are you going? Did you quit talking to me in front of other people? Yeah, it's a very oh talking in public to another person. How forward? I get. Why do I get? To, oh, why is it sad? No, about him. 
That's ridiculous. There's no way. Yeah, that's Shu Amaguchi. I, I don't know any Shu Amaguchis. It hurts. Why? Why would I? Why would I feel jealous about Shu Amaguchi? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. No, not the anime wasting disease. No, don't don't make Ray get back in the in the robot. Yeah, um that should make me feel a little better. No. Eat the fucking pills. Oh boy. <laughs> Where are the compatible ones? If I just take more ibuprofen, then I won't have a headache. Goto Senpai. Something I can help you with? Anything at all? She's very sweet. Do you like sweet senpai? No, no. What, what so sort of women do you up? like? Right. Well, has anyone suspicious tried talking to you recently? Uh, Other than me. Besides you? Yeah. Ugh. No. Just eat more pills and eat them and eat the pills and make sure to keep eating them. Run away, I've got to on, get away. Drive into the heart of me, you damn you fear. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like that. My job is to help you. Doesn't seem likely. Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far? <clears throat> so I can better assist you. What are you staring at me for? You probably think I look awful. <laughs> that is true. You probably think I look disgusting. Such raw power. It's hard to comprehend. You saw that? Okay, Toko. I was assisting Miss Morimura. No pill fuck. Fucking eat my pills. Oh, no. That should make me feel a little better. <laughs> This is amazing! Three times in one scene! Well, in one, you know, sort of, not successive scene, but like this segment. Compatible girls. Two six, isn't it? You know him? 
I mean, I've heard about him enough times by now. So Morimura told you. You know, the way you're acting, it's going to be difficult for you to pilot number 14. Number 14? No, I gotta take the pills. I really like the sort of screen shake thing it does. to remember this is number 14 the one you piloted I'm glad we were able to recover it even in Shikishima's largest hangar it was barely able to fit transporting it here was quite the challenge as well but now, including number 14 here, we've been able to recover three Sentinels after the incident. Unfortunately, the new models are all still missing. We also have yet to find number 12. And Okinokun, too. So are the Sentinels fixed? With the systems infected as they are, repairing them will be no easy task. And now that he's taken control of the Sentinels, so unless we capture 426, we won't be able to use the Sentinels. What's her deal? <laughs> oh, yes. Let me introduce you. This is Megumi Yakushiji-san. Hello. She's one of the compatible from the year 2025. Worst case scenario. She will be piloting the Sentinel instead of you. What? Just glare at her. I won't allow it. Piloting effectively is not possible in your condition. But number 14, Mr. Ida chose me for it. It's my Sentinel. Then you're the one who should have been in it. If you're really that possessive of it, then why didn't you fight instead of Juro? It doesn't matter. You'll forget this too. Just like everything else. Uh, Yakushiji san. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay, so that's 25%. That was a lot of content for not very much percentage. But yeah, she forgets everything. Take those when you're Okay. Are you all right? You should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. And Kisaragi, Class One B, Yakushi. Oh. Where are you going? Stop following me. That's not happening. <laughs> yeah, leave me alone, weirdo. Fucking weirdy. Yeah. Yeah, distract Goto. Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? So, right. Has anyone said uh, that? Well, I... What did, did you, you just tell me to run? I'd rather not say. Do you like 
Kuto's distracted. Mm. No. Go on, ditch him. What, what sort of women do you like? Well, I... No. Can I just leave? Yeah, leave. I knew it. Oh, I'm gonna consider all these pills. That was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. Pearls here. The nurse's office should have some. Run away. I'm out of pills. I need to get more from the nurse's office. So cold, so sweet. I can't get enough. Yeah, he loves modern food. What seems to be the matter, young lady? <laughs> Ma, yo, young miss. Something you. Madame. Try to help if you like. No thanks. Uh, I suppose it's to be expected. Looking like this. <laughs> He's such a goober. What a hero. Let's get. I don't need a drink. Yes, you do. I can take my pills without it. I'm not a child anymore. No, you do. It's good for you. You should get a milk and drink your pills with your drink. milk. I'm not a You're also taking like five, six pills at once. And while I also can take pills without water. It, you just do oh fuck well that was stupid I didn't mean to do that she just ran into frame as soon as I uh hit the button Good. Morimura's not here. yeah Morimura is not here Where are those pills? Morimura is nowhere in sight it's there's just Fuyasaka <laughs> it's just Fuyasaka guys it's not Morimura Fuyasaka's the only one here. <laughs> I'm out of, I need to be. There's a student asleep in here. This girl. She looks familiar. <laughs> Whoa. Yori Fuyasaka. He's one of the compatible. What's with this? There's something under the pillow. An ampoule. This must be the medicine she was given. The label says NM0206. So she injected you with nano- Nano machines. Oh yeah, that's what NM stands for. Not no memory. I said earlier, and it was like for no memory to make people's memories go away. <laughs> Which obviously it's nano machines. Now that she says it, I was thinking like Kingdom. That was like a Kingdom Hearts name for something. Just no memory. Medication record. Maybe there's something useful in here. Iori Fuyusaka, nano machines anchored. Memory transplant attempt number seven. Memory transplant. Memory transplant? What? That's crazy. Memory separation. Progressing. Third phase. As with Joe Ebony, administering personality synthesis. <gasps> what? Synthesis? That means I'm someone else? Oh? Where's Gojo-kun? I'm not me. I'm somebody else. You didn't have permission to read those. Well, well you shouldn't have left it out, idiot. It's a necessary measure. Well, did you find the culprit? Ugh. What are you planning? If you're an even worse 
worse condition than I thought. You need to take your pills. Oh, this music's going off. Oh no! Not, don't disappear, me! That's bad! <laughs> um. Yeah, let's just keep going. Let's, this is gonna be the. The Ryoko and Ninji story today. Yeah, this is all stuff we've heard before. Ampu. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. I can't believe she would do that. Change both me and Yori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. Answer the question. 1985. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right. Yeah, no wonder she turned into like a bitchy loner. That's all. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects, but don't worry. Your memories will return quickly. <laughs> My memories. Ugh, that effect is very disorienting. We're still unable to time travel. I already know that. Just tell me when it's fixed. They they did a great job of making a a very disorienting effect. Yeah. This should make me feel a little better. To the third floor. And then we go to the third floor. We ditch this piece of shit. Let's see. Oh, we're nurse's office one. Surveillance footage. Huh. Okay, so we need the Juro Karabe. Ooh, she's the most complicated web yet. So Hopefully we'll be able to go back here at some point. So Juro Karabe something something. Okay, so I don't I need to get the Juro Karabe thing. I think at this point this is the thing that I can do is go by the vending, vending machines and then wait for what's her face for Usami Chan. Usami Chan. Or maybe I can do whatever this is. We'll see. Oh, no. What sort of women do you like? I'm running, I'm running, and I'm running. The schoolyard vending machines. Woo! Okay. I can't go on. My head. So cold. So sweet. I can't get enough. Uh, what seems to be the matter, young lady? If there's something troubling you, I can try to help. Okay, we already heard this. There you are. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take the pills. Okay. It's empty. That was the last of them. Oh fuck. I need the nurse. Kisaragi-san, why are you still chasing after Sekigahara? Oh right, 
You might not know, but... But you have to capture him to fix the Sentinels. And he's 426. Is that right? You knew? Yeah, because you flippin' told me. I don't remember that. Is Morimura doing something to you? You don't remember being in the ruined city together? A ruined city. Think harder. Yeah, with my brain. Damn it. Irritating lock. Doesn't seem possible to force a connection. Ryoko san. Just like I thought. I knew you'd show up here. There's nowhere left to run, 426. I'm 426? Who did you hear that from? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eisaki Gahara. Wait, this is the thing. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with- Oh no, the, the loading bar! <laughs> Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. This is what we said before, though. Oh no! Yeah, see, I knew he wasn't 426. I knew that was bullshit. Damn it. We shifted. Into the wrong place, too. Now there's others involved. Not good. My location's going to be tracked. I need to delete the gate's logs. Yeah, he's. There's some uh, there's other things going on with him clearly. And so this is the thing from before. Time to end this. Tommy Kisaragi, one of the compatible. This just wasn't your day. And then that's Ninja Ogata, one of the compatible. <laughs> yeah, we saw this already. We did all this stuff. Your condition's gotten worse. How long has it been since you've taken them? Guess I don't have much choice. I've got those pills too. Go on. Take them. You're not gonna trick me, 426. Yeah, 426. You You're not gonna trick me. But I'm not the one who infected the sentinels. Yeah, it's bullshit! I told you! I tried to tell you, Ryoko, through the screen! Ever since we were kids, wherever he went, I followed. My big sister, Ryoko. Aww. Don't you remember? Also, this track rocks too. Please, take them. Wow, wow. What? What? What even happened? It's me. Shinonome Senpai? Wow. Who is 426? That's a great question. Oh, whoops. Of course. Yeah, we're not we're not getting to destruction today. No chance. 
There's no way I'm playing a fucking Juro Karabe story right now. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Hey, Sekigahara. Hey, Kun is a year younger than me and a childhood friend. Mm. How could I think he was the culprit? Yeah, that's insane. Why would you think that? It seems fairly obvious that that would not be. If A Seki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? Who could it be? Could it even have been Ida? Let's see, so... Juro Karabe. Exit the hallway. I guess the other way. Let's try exiting the hallway in the other direction. Wait, give me them pills. I ate them. I have so many fucking pills. I'm ditching you, idiot. He's oh, what sort of and then we run away. You like sweet this way. The cafeteria. Yeah! I'm getting it. What? What? A posting about club member recruitment. Huh. It doesn't concern me. Yeah. Huh, I wish it did concern me. But I took my pills. Senpai, are you alright? This isn't right. I just took some. Shu Amiguchi. There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. But it doesn't look like right now is a good time. Yeah, look at listen to that echoey business. So good, you know. Your face is all red too. <laughs> Maybe you have a fever? Every once in a while you can kind of tell that this was recorded at home. They try to fix it with filters and stuff, but you know, and most of it's good. I don't want to act like it's not good. What is this feeling? Feel college what's why does it sound like Venus? Her brain's exploding. Strange feeling. This boy. Remember Mer. Hello, generic policeman. I'll take it from here. Yes, sir. I love this detective guy. Onishi. Registry, no prints on file. According to the written statement, reports repeated falsehoods, possibly delusional. Psychiatric evaluation necessary. So what? You're gonna get rid of me by claiming I have a mental disorder? Yeah. <laughs> what about my sentinel? How are you going to explain that? We're still investigating. How'd you get something that large into the city? You'd think someone would have seen it. What even is that thing? It's a weapon. Created to fight Kaiju. It's a giant robot with bird-like head. Kaiju. A giant robot who is my friend. The ones you said appeared in 
2100? Well, they're mentioned in the statement as well. <sighs> 2104. What was that? They first appeared in the year 2104. <laughs> this isn't the this isn't a good time to well actually the police officer Shinanome. If you're from 2104, what are you doing here? I came from the year 2016. <laughs> I'm not from then. <laughs> you don't you understand. I told you this already. Why don't you understand? But when I woke up, I was here. Your story is just too unbelievable. My apologies, but all investigations regarding this case will cease immediately. And you are? Mr. Ida! Tetsuya Ida, advisor to the Special Investigations Unit. You will throw out all statements. No, don't play the happy music. And hand over this witness to us. Don't play the happy music. As he grooms her, as he invites her to the Discord server. Come with me. Mr. Ida, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm sorry for not coming to get you sooner. Special investigations. So it was true. And he literally looks like fucking Tetsuya Ida. But does it come with actual authority? Orders from the Director General of the Defense Agency. Please, look them over. These are confidential matters relating to national security. Yeah, the DOD Therefore, says so. It needs to be kept a secret within the police as well. Monitoring public safety also falls under our jurisdiction. <laughs> yeah, he... You're all right now. Let's go. Ida literally looks like he makes gifts of himself whipping his own bed with a belt. Like that's what he looks like. You okay? You should probably take it easy. At least until the nurse comes back. Th thanks. The nurse's office was left wide open. So I'm sure she'll be back soon. Well, then I'd better get out of here. Saved by Mr. Ida. Is he really alive? And Shu Amiguchi. Why do I remember when I look at him? This strange feeling. It makes me so anxious. I don't even know what it means. I just... I feel like I'm forgetting something important. Yeah. Probably. Just like Mr. Ida. Well. Okay. So, staircase. So I'll just go to the staircase again. And that's the next thing I need to do. And then I might get Jiro Karabe or surveillance footage. Blah, blah. Can I just teleport to the staircase, please? No. <sighs> I wish I could. About Mr. Ida. Where is he? He's been missing ever since the battle in 2024. You don't remember? I don't remember. Mr. Ida, he didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? Answer the question. 1985. Are you... I might... Yeah, take the pills. I've considered them into my belly. Yum, yum, yum. 
I really need to get a proper mic stand. So, because from where I sit, my microphone just sits on my desk. So it like kind of blocks the screen. If I had it like, that's something I need to work on. Because I can't lean back without fucking. What sort of women anyway, running away. I'm sorry, but I must. Uh, hey. God damn it. You don't have to follow me. You... Yeah. Okay, I I do have to run away. No. Did you just What do you do on your days off? I'd rather not say. Oh right. Oh. Pills. No. I'd rather not say. Ooh, okay. And did we run? But I took my pills. Senpai, are you alright? Who are you? Come on, Senpai. It's me. Oh, look at her look up all sad. Amiguchi. I don't know you. What? Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then... Why does he seem so familiar? You should probably go to the nurse's office. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah. See? Better now. You sure did eat like six pills. A fucking entire handful. Let's go to the cafeteria. Empty. I guess they're done selling. <laughs> My head. It hurts. Hmm. Yep. Let's just make sure it's not. One of these other things. It's empty. Oh the fuck. I need to get more pills. The nurse's office should have if eight I'm... Okay. Can I wait around here for someone to No No Empty cafeteria so I don't want to take the last pills. Chased by Kisaragi, taking the last pill, and whatever this is. What if I just pass out? Can I just pass out? No. No. I'm not taking them. I'm not taking them. I'm gonna run around in a circle until I pass out in the middle of the cafeteria, just like in high school. Oh, come on. You're not gonna give this to me? It's funny. I seem to only have the blurry effect like over here oh no no it's not gonna happen take the pills and then go back to the nurse's office how about i'll be fine no guess that doesn't work go to the nurse's office and then fuyusaka's there and then all this stuff. They were around here last time. Where are they? Where are my pill? Wait, no. Yuri. I'm out of. I need to get. I've already done all this. Go 
Yeah, this is all the same. Uh, of course. Okay. It says there's still something I can... Gate. Okay. There must be some sort of clue. Something that happened in 2064. I can't go on. I Maybe I need to talk to What's-Her-Face. I'll try that. I'll try talking to Magical Girl. I don't like it. I don't like when the when he says that. Karabe? But he's Izumi kun. I don't understand. I bet Renya Goto knows something about this. I can't my head. What was that about? Yump. There we go. Explain. You have the wrong person. That's not possible. I wouldn't mistake him for someone else. There are certain things you're better off not knowing. Damn it, just tell me. Juro Izumi doesn't exist anymore. He's Juro Karabe now. His mind could not withstand the battle. He had to be turned into someone else. It makes so much sense. Izumi-kun. He has the same symptoms as I do. Remember! I love to remember. Oh, look at its horrible monster face. What a hero. Finally meet. 
You're Ryoko Shinonome-san, right? Who are you? I'm Juro Izumi, and I need your help. We're going to save the world with that robot. Yeah! You bet we are. Okay. So now we've got several things. Wait, I, I've goofed. Ah ha ha! Shu Amaguchi's A Spectre Reborn unlocks this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving before my pills can happen. So, I'm going to the empty cafeteria then. Run away! Yeah, idiot. I'm fine. Now I'm gonna go to the cafeteria and su- Yeah. I guess they're done. My head, it hurts. That girl. Shinonome. What are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? Oh no. I can't go on. No, I no. Can't. Poor sad. It's Poor sad her brain. No, I need to talk to- I need to talk to Yuki. To talk to her more. Cause I love you. Four eyes? Tetsuya Ida, from the Special Investigations Unit. What? Who? But why would he- You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you- Remind me? Listen. Let's hear this. Uh huh. What in the hell? Sakura High, Sector Four. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Yeah, he is. He's right here. Look, he's right there. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Yeah, that's the words of, of a poor groomed. Yeah. You have been very groomed, and I'm so sorry. God, it's terrible. You're going to throw us aside like nothing. Also, you could have a do over with her. Yeah, Shinonome kun, just take a breath with fucking uh, this is all a big misunderstanding. What's her face? Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. What's her name? Uh, Unami. You need to take your pills and calm down. Made my decision. I know what I have to do. I have to shoot you to death. Stun mode deactivate. <gasps> yeah. Wait, Shinonome-kun. Goodbye, Miss 
Master Ida. Blam! That's pretty raw, actually. I've been waiting for someone to shoot that motherfucker. So, do you remember now? It's her her mom senses are activating. No, be happy he's dead. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay. Shu Amaguchi, A okay. Tetsuya Ida, bad. I might even be dead. <laughs> I still don't really understand. Bro. Why'd you do it? I thought a recording. A recording of what? No. no. Of him kissing on uh twin tails. Trying to make a horrible, horrible android robot to to destroy the future. There's no time. I need to hurry. I need mm. to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log three, two, one, four, and the next one is. On AI? Yeah, so that he could he could resurrect his high school girlfriend to be a high school girl forever. Just, just evil, <laughs> just the worst. What? Oh no! Shoot! Oh, shoot some more. That was horrible. Yeah, or else I'd have to sit there and wait for someone to come get me. That would have been scary and bad. That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I love the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. Surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the logs. Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah, the body of a high school girl, and it was really cool that I did that, because I'm definitely a normal, well-adjusted human being. So this is Yeah, Mira and Hijiyama. Look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. What if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi? 
everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Yeah, what are you, some kind of asshole? That's fucking horrifying. Anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. So the UFO is the thing we live on. What if we just but <laughs> start over? transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. Uh... Oh boy. Okay, so I completed that. So yeah, we can totally finish her story. Feels good. Easy. Take your time. Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? <gasps> this isn't good. You need to take your pills right now. Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to get to the gate. They said the gate's been sealed, but what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me here. Yeah! They're out to get you! To the gate! Let's fucking go. We're not gonna be tied down. Look at it. Here it is. I knew it wouldn't work. Ah. What are you doing? I had to give it a shot. Morimura. I locked the gate. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. You disabled the gates, not 426. That whore. Surveillance footage. Oh, I saw. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I'm not taking anything. Don't let those damn mind controlling pills screw with my head anymore. Yeah. Who told you that? Me. I told me that. Infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link, but its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. 
No, I won't believe anything you say. Nah, I actually, I'm, I actually believe most of what Morimura says. They keep trying to frame her as like a bad guy or being good, but no, I don't believe it. of the infection it was me that 426 created no just more lies it's true Goto. it was me with my my brain you were conspiring with morimura this whole time i told you the truth a number of times but you weren't able to accept it <laughs> You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Oh no. Ooh, this is, yep, this is then. Mr. Ida, for you to ask for me personally, I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. But it was Ida. He did it. An interlocutor update? Oh, DD426. The nano machines within you. Yeah, I They're knew it was flawed. him. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. But there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Yeah, this son of a bitch. She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Why is she like that? Why would she ever disagree with you? Yeah. If only everyone was as understanding as you. Yeah, don't um oh, oh, it's so sad. I don't like this. I want us to give this code a try. No! It's not your fault. And then Mori Morasan will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. No. Oh. An improvement to the Sentinel, huh? <sighs> Ryoko san, what was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Hey, Kun. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. I'll put DD426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15. Yeah, uh, then it, that'll help him. It'll be helpful. And now, Akun will know it too. No, that's so mean. They were mean to her. Do you remember? After you shifted, you went missing. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did. Your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication. But the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines. But it hasn't gone well. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. 
Yeah. Only you know the password. We don't have much time. Come on. Please. You must remember. You could do it. No, you could do it. No. You're awake. Who are you? Try and remember. Akon. That's right. I I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. <laughs> Refreshed. Peaceful, even. No. Maybe it's just not possible. The nano machines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. The memories you implanted in her. What are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the sentinels and the gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection, and there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. Yeah, don't let- we're not gonna let Ray go in there. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me, by Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me. Yeah, just play Roxas's theme. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Huh. So she doesn't know anything except how to fight. Well, that's fucked up. That's just fucking miserable. <laughs> that that sucks. That makes me sad. I like that. <laughs>